आई दिलिप टेन इयर्स सिंस सागर परिक्रमा वाओ टाइम फ्लाइज हेलो फोक्स ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ द टेंथ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ सागर परिक्रमा दिस इज अ वॉइस फ्रॉम दिलीप डोंडेज पास्ट विद अ स्मॉल मैसेज सो प्लीज सिट बैक एंड लिसन टेन इयर्स अगो ऑन नाइनटींथ मे टू थाउजेंड टेन दिलीप डोंडे वॉज रिसीव बाय द वाइस प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड द चीफ ऑफ नेवल स्टाफ एज ही स्टेप ऑफ हिस बोट एट मुंबई इज गेट वे ऑफ इंडिया हैविंग क्रिएटेड हिस्ट्री फ्लैगड ऑफ ऑन नाइनटीन ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड नाइन ही रिटर्न to a hero's welcome having traversed 22000 miles touching just three ports on this historic voyage today i am also basking in dilip's reflected glory because i was marginally involved in the inception of this project the whole scheme was a brainchild of our doughty maratha admiral the late manohar rawati who had long cherished a dream of seeing an indian sailor circum circumnavigate the globe globe solo in 2006 i happened to be in the navy's hot seat when i received a letter from admiral lawati asking for support in this project when i checked around i found that he had proposed this earlier too but everyone considered it a crazy undertaking and the proposal was repeatedly turned down but we soon fixed that and once we had obtained government approval we started looking for someone crazy enough to venture forth alone and who possessed the sailing skills to navigate a small boat across thousands of miles of stormy seas we found that those who were suitable did not want to volunteer and those who volunteered were often not suitable however as the old saying goes cometh the hour cometh the man and our man turned out to be another maratha warrior commander dilip donde a naval diver who happened to have some sailing experience i had known him a little bit because we served together in the eastern fleet many years earlier but far more than his sailing expertise we were impressed by dilip's resolve and the courage of his convictions Over the next three years, this man was to surprise us by his guts, tenacity, and fortitude. Early 2009 saw the boat being delivered to the navy and was given the name Madhey. Shunning the shorter and easier routes that lay via the Suez and Panama canals, Dilip pa- planned his route around the world's three great capes: Cape Leeuwin, Australia; Cape Horn in Chile; and Cape of Good Hope in South Africa. Located at the confluence of oceans all three capes are notorious for stormy weather and rough seas with mountainous waves braving every hazard that the seas could pose and having spent 276 days at sea dilip became the 176th person to conquer what is known as the everest of the seas the greatest challenge that the maritime world can pose It is impossible for me to even try and describe the epic adventure of this courageous man in a small storm-tossed boat. But Dilip has written the story of his voyage himself in a book titled The First Indian. It's a gripping first-hand account of one man's gallant struggle against the elements, written with humor and Dilip's typically modest understatement. Do read it if you can. Dilip has not rested on his laurels. He helped train his successor Abhilash Tomi who skipped the Madhey for Sagar Parikrama 2 in 2012 Dilip then went on to train the all female crew of naval officers who sailed Madhey around the world under the captaincy of Vartika Joshi Today as we celebrate the 10th anniversary of Dilip's epic voyage let us remember a couple of things while it did bring well deserved personal fame and glory to Dilip Sagar Parikrama was actually a manifestation of india's glorious maritime heritage and a serious attempt by the navy to revive it it was also a reminder to our youth that no peak of human endeavor is too remote to attempt and if they had the courage resolve endurance and fortitude of dilip donde any of them could become a first indian so dilip well done and congratulations once again you have many enjoyable years of sailing ahead in your very own antara so keep inspiring young india good luck and god bless hi dilip shichita remind me that it was just 10 years ago you came back from your circumnavigation that i can confess you now i was very happy from the first meeting with radnakar and you i very liked your project and it was amazing that we were very fast a real good team in building 
Madai. And after a few trips to Goa, I really find myself between friends. Even lessons of old-fashioned boat building in ancient India. Yes. The mast, yeah. the sail here, yeah. there's a bow spread also. Anyway, I wish you a lot of fun with Antara for the next years. And I shall check that because I stay in contact. All the best from Holland. Bye. I remember watching Derek come back from his very successful voyage around the world. Mm -hmm. That was great. Huge Indian flag he had on the mast. Great stuff. Loved it. Hello, Dilek. Many happy returns of Sagar Parikrama. It's been almost a decade since your unparalleled feat. Dilek, it's an extremely proud day for all of us. A decade back, you did something which no one else India had done. The first Indian when he circumnavigated the world. And on this day, I remember the lines from sea fever. I must go down to the seas, to the lonely seas in the sky. And all I ask for is a tall ship and a star to steer up by. Dilip, we are extremely proud of you. Thank you and thank you for making us proud. Cheers! Cheers. Don't desert, Jain. It's uh... Really nice to be part of celebrations commemorating your return home 10 years ago today. And of course, it is a momentous occasion when uh, the first Indian got back home after a pioneering effort going somewhere where no man had gone before, at least from India. And uh, it's a singular honor and a privilege for me to have been associated with you. and more so in the field that you pioneered in that is uh, ocean sailing and actually it was uh, going into an arena which you certainly didn't know anything and there was nobody within the country or within uh, close proximity who could have told you we were lucky to have a mentor like you learned a lot and uh, i am not exaggerating when i'm saying that that particular trip that i did with you to Cape Town and further on to uh, Rio is one of the most memorable events of my life. It's not just the event which makes it memorable but what we learned from you and the way we went about that whole learning process and uh, people who probably would be listening to it or would get to know to it let me tell you that uh, at times we would come up with uh, vague ideas which were uh, you know, not only out of the box, it was out of the probably whole warehouse. And he knew that it's not going to work, but then he let us go ahead with it as long as it was safe. And just watched, looking over us to see how do we do it and how do we, uh, you know, kind of uh, take the way we fail and that. Really thankful to you for uh, uh, being part of that memorable experience that I have. And hats off to your sense of adventure and your approach to, I wouldn't say life in general because I haven't seen your life really, but uh, approach to that part of uh, life which I saw very, very closely and observed and uh, frankly speaking, I tried to imbibe those uh, qualities. And here's to you, uh, this video is uh, before the 19th of May, but on the 19th, I'm gonna be raising a toast to you to my teacher, my mentor, and a person who I have learned a lot from. Thanks a lot, sir. Hope you enjoy this evening. I wish we could uh, clink glasses together, but I'm sure we're going to do that soon. Take care, have fun, and be good all. Dear Dilip, uh, just wanted to wish you uh, congratulations uh, on your 10th anniversary of your a great accomplishment and uh, Michael and I 
um, would like to uh, wish you all the best and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. It's, uh Okay. Yeah, join me. I raced my Open 60 across the Atlantic single-handed to Guadalupe. Mm -hmm. And I lived her up in Grenada, a lovely yard run by a chap called Jason Fletcher, a really nice guy, for the winter. And, um, and I was going to sail up to Newport, Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. And I suggested to Dylan he might like to join me. And he decided he would. So, um, he joined me, I think, I'm trying to remember who else was with us. I think Josh Warren was with us. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we sailed up and on the way, we're passing Bermuda and we thought, oh, we've never been there, let's go and look at it. So we dropped into Bermuda. Mm -hmm. Then we went up to um, Cape Cod and stopped there for a few days, stayed in a bungalow belonging to some friends. And then we sailed down to Newport, picked up another two crew members, uh, Bernard Gallet, who'd done the Vendée, and David Asher, who used to be commodore of the Royal Ocean Racing Club. Mm -hmm. And that was the five of us, and that was our crew. And we raced back across the Atlantic. Well, best we could do was third. It wasn't very successful, but it was fun. Uh -huh. We had a great time. You think about it, we had Indian, two Brits, a chap from Monaco, and a Frenchman. And actually, you couldn't have had a nicer group of people. We just got on so well. The jokes were fantastic. And we raced quite well. So that was five years ago we did that race. Um, and then after it was saving me a bit longer, I think, which is always good because my curries get better when he's here. Philip, good morning from Monica. Hope all is fine with you. Just wanted to pop in and wish you a lot of congratulations on the 10th anniversary of your circumnavigation. I hope you're in fine form and I look forward to going back to sea with you in the near future. Take care, look after yourself. Enjoy. Hi, Philip. It's really 10 years since your, your unique achievement of uh, solo circumnavigation. Great. All I got to say is that Bhagavad Gita, which I've given you to keep you company in the oceanic wilderness during your circumnavigation, you so graciously came and gifted it back to me on your completion. Probably that's a first and one and only Bhagavad Gita that has circumnavigated the globe. Thank you for it. Your contribution to adventure sailing in India is unique and unmatched. Keep at it, buddy. Kudos. Bravo Zulu from my heart. Hello Dilip sir, here is wishing you a very very happy 10th anniversary of your epic voyage. Um, what better moment could there have been than to thank you for this incredible feat of yours that had shaped many lives including mine. Uh, it's been an immensely gratifying and humbling experience to have worked under you since 2013. You have been more than a fatherly figure, a mentor, a guiding light, and a shoulder to cry on when we needed it the most. So thank you for being there by us and for standing by us through the thick and thins. Uh, on this day, I would like to wish you the very best for all your future ventures. And I also want to wish Antara the very best for all her future sailings and uh, many, many more miles for her. Uh, I only wish I had the opportunity to mark this beautiful day with a lovely sail out at sea. Nevertheless, take care, enjoy your day. Cheers, and I hope to see you soon.
congratulations not just because it's been 10 years for your circumnavigation but also that in this last decade you have achieved not just one circumnavigation three circumnavigation you've been mentor to all of the circumnavigators that are there in india today and uh, personally i would like to thank you that you have not just uh, mentored me for circumnavigation but have taught me a lot of life lessons taught me how to be a good officer how to be a good human above all and you've been uh, you have been a huge influence to whatever uh, i have become for the short duration of 5 to 6 year that you have taught us a lot and uh, i would i can't thank you enough to teach me a lot of things uh, that have made me the person that i am today and i would wish and pray that uh, we uh, remain in touch for the rest of our lives and you keep teaching us you keep encouraging us um, you are someone like uh, avati sir in like avadi sir was in your life you are someone like that for us and thank you so much for being the guiding light and the one who who can push us to our limits and make us realize that what we can achieve thank you sir wish you congratulation for your 10th anniversary of successful journey around the world thank you very much for inspiring me hey dilip it's been 10 years that you sailed in mumbai after completing completing your circumnavigation i vividly remember the day when you cast off from mumbai and hearing to the three gentlemen the great star words of sailing from india they, they were saying that either the sailor will not last for a month or surely the boat will not last for three months you proved all of them wrong and came back safe and sound uh, in mumbai on the 19th I was very delighted, and it was really a relief that you came back in one piece. Because I always thought that it was my responsibility to build a good boat and to give it to you, as your life depended on it. I wish you all the very best, and I wish. that you see many more sunsets on many coasts all over the world bye twenty eighteen i decided to go up to greenland now i've been there before and it's a lovely spot but i wanted to get further north and i said you know you're not doing anything come and join me so to get over and stay with me again and um we I think we had eight of us on board, and we sailed up to Greenland, got as far as Scoresby Sound, got right up the fjord, uh, did some diving. We think did it probably holds the record for the Indian who's dived furthest north, nearest. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, the compressor wasn't working, so we couldn't recharge the cylinders, so uh, we didn't do any more diving. We spent. We spent a very amusing couple of days at the little village there. Four hundred people. I think it's the most northern village in the world. Mm. Four hundred people, and that was hilarious because Dilip was in the lower bunk in the forward cabin. Bob Dench, a friend of mine, was in the upper one. 
Mm -hmm. Did it in his sleep was singing some <laughs> song, a Bollywood movie. Uh -huh. And Bob couldn't get to sleep. He was humming away this song. Uh -huh. And Bob tried to stop him, sort of tapping. No. One of the other crew, Ian, heard the tapping and he came out of a sleep. I don't know what was in his mind or dreaming of. Absolutely convinced that the Inuit ladies had canoed alongside and were going to steal his very expensive fishing rod. You can't explain this, Sushetta. You can't explain this. He jumped up to go rushing on deck to see, you know, where these people were stealing his fishing rod. Of course, there was no one there. Dilip, hearing him rushing up, thought, oh, something's wrong on deck. I better rush up. This left uh, Bob and my grandson, Val, absolutely in hysterics at these two. In the meantime, I got up because I thought, what's going on? What is happening? <laughs> I've been busy tracking the pandemic, but efforts like this makes it meaningful to look forward to life, to happiness. My memories of you obviously go back to days in Kulaba and Marine Drive. Our meetings for interviews and conversations around Matai. I want to leave a small note of appreciation for a life wisdom you shared with me. You may not recall this, but I carry it with me always. When I asked you what can a human learn when he is alone, away from the world, his sail bobbing high and slow, uncertain, you took a long pause, told me a few things and ended with, learn to surrender. You know, it's, uh, it's just we formed a very strong friendship and uh, I enjoy his company a lot. We seem to get on very easily, you know, it's uh, been nice to go sailing with him in his country. I did it my way.